The Louis Vuitton Speedy V25 is a classic that I feel like most of us have either had in our collection at one point in time or still currently have in our collection. This is the bag that I see most often where people buy duplicates of this bag because they love it so much. Now we're going against the Louis Vuitton Vavine PM bag. You guys all know that I love this bag, but it isn't really talked about and I don't really understand why. This is a bag that most people do not have in their collection. And I'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison and let you guys know which one I think is best. Before I jump into the pros of the Speedy V25, if you guys are new here, my name is Melissa and I love to talk about all things luxury. I'm assuming you love luxury just as much as I do because you clicked on this video. If you do love luxury just as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do have a birthday coming up next month and it would make me over the moon excited to have some new subscribers here on my channel. Let's go over the Speedy V25's pros before we jump into the pros of the Vavi PM bag. First of all is the capacity. How much can this bag hold? It can hold quite a bit. It holds all of my everyday essentials, plus then some. You can fit a scarf in here or a small piece of clothing item. You can fit a water bottle. You can fit all of your everyday essentials. Any pouch you can possibly think of, some cosmetics, even some shoes if you really wanted to fit them in here. The next pro is definitely a personal pro and that for me is the fact that this bag can be slouchy. Now I have an organizer in mine right now so it's holding its shape pretty well but when you take the organizer out it gives a very slouchy hobo style which I really really like that I have the versatility of making this bag very hobo, slouchy, casual or dressing it up just or maybe not dressing it up, but making it a little bit more structured with having the uh, organizer inside of this bag. Next up is the durability of this bag, you guys. There are so many people that have told me that they use the Speedy V25 in this canvas, specifically the Damier Urban with the treated leather for their rainy day bag. Now, I live in Arizona. It's a desert here. It hardly ever rains, so I don't need a rainy day bag. But the fact that this bag is often used as a rainy day bag just speaks volumes as to how durable this is. The canvas is obviously very durable. You're not going to get any scratch marks or anything like that. The colorway makes it very durable as well. You can pretty much spill anything on this bag on the out 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 outside or exterior and it's going to be just as beautiful as it was prior. Now, if you spill stuff on the inside, that might be a little bit of a different story. The next pro and possibly my favorite is the fact that it has top handles. You guys, I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but I love a bag with top handles. Anytime I am dressed up, I prefer to carry my bag top handle, but if I'm dressed down, I prefer to carry it crossbody. So the fact that this bag has top, um, top handles, it makes it so that I actually reach for this bag much more often than my bags that do not have top handles. The next pro is actually this strap right here. This is a three-way adjustable strap. What do I mean by that? This actually has three separate parts that can be removed from each other so that you can wear this bag in several different ways. You can wear it as a crossbody, a long shoulder, a short shoulder, or take it off and just carry it top handle, which makes this bag very, very versatile. And lastly is price. This bag retails for under $2,000. It only costs $1,820, which I feel like is a very fair price point in today's luxury world. It is really hard to find a bag even under $3,000 these days. So the fact that this one is not only under $3,000, but it's also under $2,000 and all of the other pros that I have mentioned, I feel like the Speedy B25 is well worth the price that it is at today. That was six pros for the Louis Vuitton Speedy B25. Let's jump into the pros for the Vavian PM bag and see which one has more pros in my personal opinion. The first pro that I want to talk about is the adjustability on this bag. Now it does not have a removable strap or an adjustable strap, but it is a strap that you can either double up on your shoulders or you can wear it as a long crossbody bag. The next pro about this bag is actually the capacity. This bag it looks like it is a fairly small bag, but it's actually a decent size. 
as you can see, it is very close in size to the Speedy B25. It just looks a lot smaller. This bag can fit a water bottle inside of here. It can fit a pair of shoes depending on your size of feet. By shoes, I mean sandals. So this bag and the capacity is really surprising and I love the fact that you can fit all of your everyday essentials in here plus more. The next pro that I want to touch on is the aesthetic of this bag. In my personal opinion, this is the most beautiful bag that Louis Vuitton offers in their canvas materials. Now they have a couple other bags that are in their leather versions that I think are a little bit prettier than this bag, but in their canvas versions, I feel like this is top notch. It is absolutely stunning. Next pro is the durability. Just like with the Speedy B25, this bag is in treated leather and canvas. It is almost impossible to hurt this bag unless you are intentionally trying to do so. And lastly is the fact that this bag is very versatile. Not only can you dress it up, especially with the beautiful gold chain on it, you can also dress it down. In my personal opinion, the Damier Aben print is very casual. So the fact that it has this casual print makes it a little bit less dressy but these beautiful pops of gold hardware really elevates the bag and dresses it up very nicely. Now let's jump into some cons. I have a feeling that I am about to say something that is probably going to be very shocking to some of you guys and maybe hurt some of your guys' feelings, but I'm just being 100% honest. And that is the fact that this bag, the Speedy B25, a classic from Louis Vuitton, is cheaply made. You guys, out of all of my bags in my handbag collection, this one is the cheapest quality. The hardware is all mixed match. There's some hardware that's really nice. There's some hardware that's not. The hardware on the strap is actually much better than the hardware on the bag itself. I do feel like the strap is like wrinkled around it and that it just came that way. It's just simply a cheaply made bag and as much as I hate to say that, it really, really is. Now the only other con I have for this bag is the fact that it is very casual. For me personally, I would never wear this for a date night. I would never wear this dressed up. I would never wear it to a wedding. So it's only a casual weekend or work bag for me. Therefore, I think that that kind of makes it a little less versatile, which is a con for me. All right, let's jump into some of the, the cons for the Louis Vuitton Vavine PM bag. But before I do, I forgot to mention that the Vavine PM bag actually only had five pros and the Louis Vuitton Speedy B25 had six pros. So in that category, if we're doing a little tie or tiebreaker, I guess the Speedy B25 is going to win in that category. But for the cons, the first con I have about this bag is the fact that your hair gets stuck inside of these little um, straps right here. I do have a cutaway that I will share with you guys of that happening to me. It's really not fun. It really rips out your hair. And sometimes when that happens, my hair gets so entangled in these little straps that I actually have to ask my husband to untangle my hair because I can't get it out. The chain for this bag is not adjustable and it is too long. I am five foot six. I am a curvy shape. I am a size eight and this bag is too long for me. So I can only imagine how long it is on very petite or very slim people. I don't like the fact that this is so long. I feel like the average height nowadays is probably between 5'3 and 5'7. And if it's too long for me, it just, in my personal opinion, I feel like it's just too long of a strap to have crossbody and they probably should have knocked an inch off of it. The last con that I have with this bag is actually the fact that the top of this bag pinches together. So when you have all of your items inside of here, it's not going to show it exactly right now because it is empty. The weight of the items will actually pull down on the bag and make the top pinch together. That is because it is such a soft, squishy bag. It doesn't have a lot of structure to it. So these little rings up here at the top they pull together when there's weight on it. And I don't necessarily love that about the bag. It makes me worry about the shape of the bag and the longevity of the bag when it's constantly being pulled tight like that because of the weight of the items inside of here. So as you guys heard, the Vavian PM has one more con than the Speedy B25. 
The Vavin PM bag retails at $2,570. I would pay that in a heartbeat, but I will say that you guys can find this bag on the pre-loved market for often well below the $2,000 mark. So if you don't wanna pay full price for this bag, definitely look on the resale market. You can get yourself a good bargain on this bag. This bag, the Speedy B25, retails for $1,820. That is for the regular canvas. They do have other options. They have a limited edition options and they have the leather versions that are gonna be a little bit more pricey. But if you opt for the non-bandolier style, then it will be a little bit less expensive. So the price on this tends to vary. They do have an all leather version on this, the Vavi and PM bag as well, but I don't remember what the current price is. I will pop it up on the screen for you guys to see. So what are my final thoughts about these bags? I'm gonna go ahead and pop up some outfit inspiration for you guys as I kind of talk to you guys about what I think about these bags and whether they are actually worth it. The Vavi and PM bag, as I mentioned, I feel like it's a really good price for what you're getting. It's a really great everyday bag. If you can only own one luxury bag in your collection, I feel like this is a really good option because you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear crossbody and you can wear it on your shoulders and it holds all of your everyday essentials without being too big. So I actually feel like you can wear this dress, this dress, this bag with a dress as well. And I think it's a great bag to add to your collection if you have been considering it. The Speedy B25 is a wonderful bag. It took me a long time to buy this bag because I'm not hugely into larger bags. Lately, I have been re-falling in love with larger bags, so this bag has been a favorite of mine recently, but I can't say that's always been true. Let's face it, it's a basic bag. It's very simple. Everybody and their mama has it, but everybody and their mama has it for a good reason. I think it's a great bag to add to your collection if you never tried it. Again, if you want to buy it, below retail, you can actually find the Speedy V25 on the resale market for around 1300 if I remember correctly. I think it's a great bag to add to your collection if it's something that you've been considering, but if you're not into bigger bags, go for the Speedy 20 instead. Out of these two bags, which do I prefer and which one would I recommend to you? I have to be 100% honest with you guys and I really can't choose. I know that this one had one more con and it had one more, uh, one less pro than the Speedy B25, but if I could only own one of these bags in my collection, I would probably choose this one just for the fact that it's more versatile, but which one of these are my favorite at the moment, I would choose this one. So I don't wanna give you guys any false information. This has been a bag that I've just recently started falling in love with. So I don't wanna tell you that this one is better than this one. So you guys are gonna to have to unfortunately make up your own mind when it comes to these two bags, because I really can't choose. Before you guys run off, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I am going to start uploading three videos a week again. I'm gonna upload on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I used to do three videos a week when I first started my channel and then I scaled back to two, but I've been really having a fire under my tush. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out up until my birthday, which is September 27th. I am turning 34 years old and to see how it goes. And if I enjoy doing three videos a week, I will continue to do so. But if I feel a little bit overwhelmed, then I'll go back to my two videos a week. If you guys found this video useful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell so that you will be notified every single time that I upload a video, especially now that I have a new schedule to share with you guys. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week, but until next time, bye guys.